friends and family. It's Sarah from the Dancing Bear Tribe. We just finished up our summer tour performing and vending at music festivals and events all around the United States. And our group is really excited for all the exciting projects who we have in store this winter for us and for all of y'all. And one of our projects is focusing more on keeping our viewers inspired with tricks and tips and tutorials on our social media platforms. I am going to be teaching an intermediate hula hoop dance combo today, and it looks like this. To start off the breakdown of this combination, the first part of the combination is going to be a move called the isopab. I'm just going to go ahead and break that down quickly. You're going to start with your hand on what would be 6 o'clock, if you imagined your hula hoop as a clock on the wall. And the first step is to push across your left shoulder, if you're right handed, if you're left handed you're going to be pushing across your right shoulder and you're going to push out on a straight plane until your wrist gets to the point where it wants to rotate around your hand. And when you can no longer make that push, you'll let the you'll release your thumb from your grip and your fingers and you're going to let the hoop just roll over the top of your hands, but you're going to keep it on that straight plane and then you will pop it and catch it. So you'll close your grip when you get to the end of the isopop. I'll try and do it as slow as possible. So as you're letting it roll over the top of your hand, you're also pushing your arm into a straight line to the right. So that is the first part of our breakdown, the isopop. The second part of our breakdown is going to start at the end of your isopop. And from this point, you will start to move your thumb to the middle of the bottom of your spine. And your hoop will go up. At the same time that you're moving your thumb to lay on the back of your spine and pushing your hoop up, to be straight behind you, you're going to be looking over your right shoulder, and as you're looking over your right shoulder, you will start to walk and step out of the hoop with your head leading, shoulder following, and you will step your left foot out. So let's start that from the top. We have our isopap, push, release over the top of our hands, catch between our thumb and our fingers as we trace that line, and then we are going to travel with our thumb to the bottom of our spine, right there in the middle, gaze over your right shoulder, and you will start to step out of that hoop, leading with your head, and you follow with the rest of your body. Your left foot is gonna step out of the hoop first, as your left foot steps out, you're going to look over your right shoulder and you're going to lead with your head and your right shoulder, rotate around to where your left foot faces the front again, and instantly fling your hoop off your hand, pick your right foot off of the ground, and release it into hoop on your thigh. Okay, start that over again. We are going to iso pop. <laughs> Iso pop, trace the thumb to the middle of the bottom of our back, rotate over our right shoulder, step our left foot out, rotate our left foot to face the front, and fling the hoop on our thigh, right foot off the ground. The last part of the move, where we'll have the hoop rotating on our right thigh, off the ground, and we are going to dive into the hoop as if we are going swimming. So our two hands 
hands will lead, and they'll kind of do this motion where they just push the hoop out of your way. So it's rotating on our right thigh, and we just dive into it. And we use our forearms kind of as that protection to push the hoop out of the way so that we don't get caught on it. It's a real quick move. And that is the end of this intermediate combination, which looks like this. And you can really do a lot of fun stuff with it. Woo. There's a lot of different places you can go from there. So one last time, I'll do it as slow as possible. Isopod. Over your right shoulder, step out with your left foot, rotate over your right shoulder, left foot faces the front, fling it onto your thigh, dive through, hands first, and then from there, you can kind of just do what you want. Do what you want. Do -do 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 -do. Woo! And that is a wrap, folks.